Hey guys, good morning. Today we're gonna talk about my spring favorites. A little bit like a wish list, but also the things that I already have in my closet that I think I'm gonna be gravitating towards to or that I'm really excited to start wearing now that it's getting a little bit warmer. I have a few things that I just got that I want to show you. On this video, we're gonna talk about bags, sweater, shoes, absolutely all of the pieces that I want to introduce more into my style in this next couple of months. So I decided to plan last night um, the few things that I'm really excited to start using. Hopefully to help me transition a little bit from all the coats and like the winter attire and also for anyone that has been looking for some inspiration so I found this new brand called Goelia and I found so many things in their website it's very high quality but still machine washable which for me is a huge pro because it's things that I can just wash with my house and I don't have to worry much about dry cleaning and they have so many beautiful wool pieces I got a few items that I want to show you the first one I got two items that were striped you're gonna really like it I am sure like this is the first one and it's this beautiful jumper I've talked about this before and it has a zipper I don't know why I love the halfway zipper clothing lately a lot and it has stripes it's so so soft and if you cannot tell that I like the stripe trend that much I got more than one piece so I'm gonna show them all to you like I'm gonna do screenshots and I'm gonna link absolutely everything in the description box down below it's very hard for me to find brands that have clothing that I actually like because my style is quite uh, simple minimalistic in some way except when I go for Zimmerman you need to have like your florals here and there sometimes this is going to be such a good transitional piece because it kind of doubles as a shirt so you can put it on and add a blazer on top of it even like a coat so if it's still a little bit like chilly it's not super thick so you're not gonna look very bulky but still feels really really nice i really like the idea of it underneath like a coat right now because we're having some days here where it's like still a little bit chilly but during the day you get a little bit cold so that's like the weather situation right now and you need to be versatile with what you're wearing now this jacket probably my favorite addition this is striped it has a beautiful gold button so i'm way too excited to try this on with white shirt and denim it's completely like the vibe that i'm looking for this is a striped single breasted wool jacket again washable wool which is amazing i do recommend you to size up on this one because i honestly like the oversized look a little bit more rather than the slim fit but if you want to do the slim fit that also works really well this is going to be super super cute and i absolutely love the feel of it the texture of the pieces is quite soft it's not as scratchy like sometimes wool tends to be i know that stripes come and go in fashion but right now i think like it's so trendy and so in i definitely see myself taking like this one like with a mini kelly a pair of jeans and a white shirt underneath i think it's gonna look really good i also decided to get a little black dress i really like these ones because they are very flowy very comfortable i just really like dresses overall i feel like they're just easy like you don't have to think much about it and you can just throw them on this is called the seventh sleeve dress it's the type of super easy black dress you don't have to think much about it and it's most of all comfortable which is one of my biggest concerns when it comes to clothing i'm someone that will not compromise comfort for fashion ever and it just feels very very fresh which is going to be very important for this summer they have so many dresses i think i might get for the next time a few long dresses like i have a few on my wish list and it has this type of balloon shape that i know it might not be for everyone but i actually really like the way that it looks it's very simple it's very comfortable it's very easy and pairing it with any bag it's probably gonna look really really good i got two trench coats and i did that because it's getting quite hot but in the mornings and in the evenings as i said it's definitely you need to put something else on and i don't want to wear a full coat so for me trench coats are very transitional in that sense and blazers too and i found it's stunning i love this one more because it has the plate color and i think you're gonna love it too so this is stunning first of all it's short so i can definitely see myself wearing this with a skirt a pair of shorts and the coat also it is removable so if you don't like this you can take it off it doesn't match with your outfit no worries you can take it off but i actually really like the way that it looks it feels very fresh but covers you from the wind it gives you a very sophisticated and put together look so i am very excited about this piece because i think that it's gonna be easier for me to go out with this one and don't feel like overwhelmed with like the long coats this is super super cute super lightweight but at the same time it does cover you and and you look very good with it this is going to look good with dresses shorts pants pretty much anything like I've seen that for this spring summer we're gonna use more pants than anything I honestly see myself using this piece
piece very very much and I'm very excited to see the way that it fits I just overall I'm pretty happy with it now this is the last one and this is the most expensive one that I got but I think that is going to be worth it because I'm gonna use it quite a lot not only right now but in the years to come fits very very well and it's just so soft this is something that I hope to own for many many years and you can never go wrong with a piece like this plus it's definitely my color palette I will take a lot of one tear out of this one it has the belt I really like the length overall a great transitional piece so yeah it's lightweight it's soft it looks very good it's a very timeless piece I definitely think like it's a great investment in your wardrobe and I'm really happy that I added to mine I don't have anything in this color that is not like super super heavy like I have my vintage Burberry one but it's super long it does make me feel like winter attire entirely and I definitely wanted to have some things that were like okay it's not super super cold but it's still chilly and I want to put something on top that looks put together that looks like I made an effort to get ready this morning this is exactly what I was looking for besides wool they have cashmere different types of silk so there's definitely something for you out there I really like their sweaters I thought about ordering more sweaters but I might wait a little bit until the fall but they do have a very impressive selection and they look so so soft they did give me a discount code in case you want to go check their website out I'm gonna link all the pieces in the description box down below but you can use Lou 25 to get 25% off of course I'm gonna talk about my favorite dresses and the first that I want to talk about is this Zimmerman that I got recently it's beautiful I love it so so much I think I'm gonna get a lot of use out of it I also have this white Zimmerman dress it's probably one of my all-time favorites I think I'm gonna get a lot of wear out of them I think here in Barcelona it's a little bit more common to wear these types of dresses it's really hard for me to find Zimmerman dresses that are not so loud like for example this jumper it does, don't get me wrong I absolutely love it but it's more difficult to pair it with something else because it's already quite loud it is like the Zimmerman look and I love it and I'm gonna wear it I think this is not as difficult to pair I also have this one from Knots and Kisses that I use quite a lot this is not in production anymore but it has like these Dior vibes that I really like but I do have quite of a big wish list when it comes to adding some dresses that hopefully I can put here and if you like them first of all it's this Lanvin white dress with a cape I really want to get it it's 2700 euros so I'm thinking about it but they have so many options I'm gonna put multiple pictures and the brand of all of the dresses that I basically have on my wish list there's a few of them there so I don't want to go one by one because I would take hours talking about them I'm very much into ready to wear lately and expanding it a little bit so now I want to go into the handbags that I'm really excited to start using for spring I decided to come out with a round of colors and possibly push them into my wardrobe a little bit more so I will be using more than this ones but my favorite ones are for sure this five handed picks basically so the first one it will be of course it's going to be my Hermes Mini Kelly in clay with palladium hardware since it's such a small bag I think pairing it with dresses or just shirts like this linen one I think that it's such a very easy bag to transition from day to night and I'm gonna be using it a lot I've already been using it so much in the past couple of months that I don't really see that changing right now that spring and summer come so this is definitely something that is gonna stick as my most used bag during the next couple of months and possibly the year I don't see that changing it being a weight bag it's very easy for me to pair it with dresses and like fresh outfits in that sense so this would definitely be my first option second bag is going to be my Chanel green classic flop in the small also in my opinion the most perfect shade of green with champagne gold hardware green is such an amazing color I'm so happy <laughs> to implement it more in my wardrobe this year and being the small size I just love to use this bag crossbody again the color is amazing I didn't really feel like using it that much during the winter for exception with some white coats or maybe some gray outfits here and there so I'm really happy that I'm gonna be pulling this out a little bit more right now so I have been wanting a yellow bag for such a long time and now that I have this one from Pauline I am very very happy I love this shade of yellow in the website it actually says wheat but it's not wheat it's definitely like a pastel yellow and this is a numero neuf and it's such a roomy bag and I can see this like going for a picnic to the park or just when you have long walks it fits so much and I just love Pauline's craftsmanship and the quality is so so good I think this really feels the yellow gap in my collection for now absolutely love the bag and it has like this beautiful summer vibe I love the dumpling shape everything about this is I really like it of course I was going to include a blue bag and this is my Birkin 30 in blue celeste from the candy collection I got this from season to consign so big shout out to them this bag has been amazing for someone that is usually like reaching into neutral so so much I've been so into color lately and I'm so happy that I'm 
I'm doing that. I mean, there are seasons that, of course, I'm gonna drive more into neutrals, but right now I am beyond happy, like, implementing different colors. And this is, you can wear, like, an all-white outfit or, like, beige and add this bag, and it just looks so good. I just found my sunglasses. But this bag has two colors, and this is the blue Sunseeber on the inside and Celeste on the outside, in my opinion. It's one of the best shades of blue besides, like, probably blue brown. I really, really like it. I like the size 30 a lot because when I go out, I don't have to restrict myself in what I put inside the bag. Like, I'm always like, sunglasses, yeah, notebook, of course, water, anything, like, everything fits inside the 30. So, I'm actually gaining a lot of love to the size. I still love my 25s a lot, but the way the color looks, like, it's just so amazing. Like, I now understand perfectly everyone that kept saying, like, no one does colors like Hermes and Anzi, that's true. The last bag that I want to talk about, I promise that I'm gonna use it more this year. So, this is my Chanel Pink Mini in Lambskin. This is in the square. This is my only mini bag from Chanel and it has the back pocket and everything. I got this bag in Rome, I think around 2019. The only reason why I was not using it that much is because I don't like using this kind of bag sometimes crossbody and I want to use them as a shoulder bag, but I've been starting to shorten the strap from here. So you can for sure like stick this and very good shoulder length. That's what I'm trying to do lately. And of course, this is a very, very light pastel pink, which looks really, really nice with any like sort of curly outfits that I want to use. I love pink. I don't use it enough. So I do want to push myself into wearing more pink bags and outfits this year. Some bags that I've been meaning to kind of add to my collection that I might not, but I'm going to give the options out there in case anyone is interested, is the Celine Tote. I've been definitely looking for a tote that fits my laptop, which is a 16 inch. It's this massive thing. So I'm not sure if it fits inside, but I want to try it because it's an only leather bag and it has the tan option. I'm gravitating a lot towards it. Also the black one. There's this tiny green Lanvin bag that I saw on Farfetch that I'm gonna link it. I really like it and I do like that it has a silver hardware. A very obvious option would be probably the Celine box. I really want the Celine box bag or the Triumph. Whichever of those is going to be fine. It's not the time for me, but I do feel like that's gonna be such a cute bag. Super understated, can be easily paired with anything. Also this Jill Sander in baby yellow. It's a very weird bag, I agree. I think it's too trendy. I wouldn't recommend anyone to get it, but I've been like kind of really liking the vibe that it has. And if you're into very, very cute pastel pink vibes, I don't know what this bag has, but I really like it. It's from Rosantica and it's the mini tutu and it's like this velvet baby pink with pearls. It's really cute. I have such a thing for pearls and I like them in bags a lot. If anyone was looking like for something like that, I think that this one is very unique and cute. I found it recently, so in case you're interested, also gonna be linked. Now, going into the shoes, I do have this pair of sneakers from Jimmy Choo that I really like. I don't have them here, but I'm gonna put B-roll of them. They are basically white sneakers with pearls. I feel like they have a very fresh look and they're definitely one of the ones that I plan to use the most besides my Chanel sneakers that I use a ton. I am very excited to start using my Hermes cheaper sandals. They have been like waiting in my closet for this weather to happen. So I plan to wear this ones a lot. A very simple white shirt, shorts and the sandals. It's just a very, very nice look. They are very comfortable. I like them way better than the orange. So it was really hard to find them in my size. However, now that I have them, I do plan to use them a lot during the next season. This I'm very excited about and these are my Amina Muadi like rainbow pumps and they are very cute and in my opinion, I do find them comfortable. They have this very fresh, fun and summery vibe. I'm really excited to really start using them and getting comfortable with them. They are pretty much unused because I haven't really had the chance to take them out. Hopefully, I'm gonna have more now. Not for really long walks, but overall maybe to even going out. I think that if you're gonna use a very neutral outfit, a pop of color on the shoes on the back is always very, very cute. I've been liking a lot these ones from Vivaya. I really like the material, very easy to walk in and I like the colors. Because of these ones and how easy it has been to like implement that in my wardrobe, I kind of want to get the Chanel ones. They are now on the wishlist officially. I will have to struggle a little bit to find them in my size because I am possibly going to be 34 or 35, ideally a 34.5 or 4.5 US. But I do think that they're just such a classic shoe that I'm gonna be able to use for a really long time. And the last one, you're gonna kill me, but they are my Celine loafers. I've been trying to break them in in the past couple of months and it's kind of working, not really that much, but I do see a little bit of progress, so that gives me hope. And I hopefully are going to be able to implement them in outfits for the next couple of months. And at last, I want to talk about sweaters because yes, I still need to use some sweaters. And of course my favorite brand, it's Totem, but I'm also being really loving Kaite. This specific one from Kaite, I adore it. It's probably my favorite sweater in my entire collection. And right now I've been using it so, so much. But from 
of the time it's probably my favorite ones are the beige and the white one are my most used and they are very comfortable I have this mesh sort of like tweed jacket that I like to put on top of outfits and also going into a lot of shirts of course anything linen for me is a must I really like Aritzia for linen shirts I'm gonna link them because it's really hard to find like flowy ones with good quality that feel fresh and good and I think Aritzia Plus does it very well with the Wilfred line and we cannot miss Petit the brand that if you are short like me you're gonna definitely enjoy checking out Petit the brand I have sets of every single color from them and I absolutely love them and they're a staple in my closet it's very easy to just pick the set and leave they're super super comfortable they're comfortable trendy and you don't have to think much when you pick them out I think for now this is probably it I think I threw so many things in there but these are basically the items that I plan to use for the next couple of months and things that I want to add I would love to know what is your must or your favorite bag shoes in the comment section down below and if you're new to my channel please consider subscribing and click the notification bell down below so don't miss any of my videos thank you so much Goelia for sponsoring this video and if you're not done watching I'm gonna leave you two videos right here in case you want to check them out thank you and see you on the next one bye